Hello, welcome to Simplified Loader Purchase Receipts Run Through. In this video, we will look at how to create purchase receipts using the Simplified Loader Excel templates. Okay, let's take a look at the topics that we are going to cover in this run through. 1. Querying all purchase orders based on the user that is logged into the Simplified Loader Excel template. 2. Querying purchase orders using single or multiple PO numbers. 3. Creating a purchase order receipt directly in Excel to Oracle, which we will see once an open purchase order is displayed in the Simplified Loader sheet. The Excel sheet allows for partial receiving of a purchase order or receiving the full purchase order amount. And lastly, the fourth topic we will be looking at is returning goods to the supplier. The simplified loader functionality is not just limited to creating new receipts, but as we will learn, the user can also return goods to the supplier. Using Simplified Loader Template integrates seamlessly with your business logistical processes. Before we move on, it is worth noting that the actions described on this slide can be used by a business as usual user to simplify their daily activities or to help the data migration consultant with migrating a large number of records into Oracle. With that in mind, let's continue. To open the sheet, we just need to double click it. The spreadsheet contains all of the fields that are relevant to the purchase order receipt. In the Simplified Loader toolbar, we can also see all the actions that are relevant to the purchase order receipt template. Let's have a brief look at each of the buttons that we will be using during this run through. Create Receipt Transaction. This button is used to receive or return the received goods. Get My Open POs button. This button downloads open purchase orders for the user who is logged into the Simplified Loader template. The Get PO Details button downloads data for one or more of the purchase order numbers into Excel. Get PO Details for Return. This button gets the receipt details that were created within Oracle. The user can then review the data in Excel and decide to return the received goods to the supplier. The first step that we will need to perform is to download all of the open purchase orders from Oracle into the spreadsheet. To accomplish this, we will need to click on the Get My Open POs button. This action will open the login window. We can now select the environment from where we want to retrieve the data from. Next, we have to enter the username of the person who is performing this action along with their password. Next step is to log in to the environment. The user has the option to log in either using a non-single sign-on or a single sign-on enabled logon. When using a single sign-on login, the user will not need to supply a password into the simplified loader template. If you wish to understand more about the differences between the non-SSO and SSO login capabilities, then please check out the authentication video run through. For now, we will use the non-SSO login method. After we successfully log into the environment, Simplified Loader Template will fetch all the open purchase orders related to the user that we have just logged in with. Before performing the next action, let us first review the data in the spreadsheet. In column E, Received Transaction Quantity, the user sees the unreceived quantity. For example, if 20 pens were ordered and the user already received 5 pens, then this column will show 15 as the unreceived quantity. Similarly, column G, received transaction amount, shows the unreceived amount. The received transaction date shows today's date, followed by the vendor name, the vendor number, and the site code. Received transaction document number is the purchase order number. The received transaction document line number is the purchase order line number, shipment line number of the purchase order, and the distribution number of the purchase order. The user will also see the requisition number, the requisition line number, description of the purchase order, and the need by date of the purchase order. 
The quantity ordered field contains the total quantity ordered by the user. In this row, we can see that the quantity ordered was just one, and the unreceived quantity is also one, which means there is no receiving activity performed against this purchase order. If we continue scrolling to the right, we will see the matching basis of the purchase order, followed by the business unit and the charge account. The user can also see the project name, project number, the task name and number. Basically all the details related to the purchase order are displayed to the user. When the user receives the purchase order using the Fusion application, they will not see all the details related to the purchase order. Therefore it becomes difficult for the user to select the right transaction record using the Fusion application front-end. For example, from the Fusion application, there is no way to view the Need by Date field of the purchase order. The receipt template contains a few columns that are prefixed with X. The columns with X means that they are used for reporting purposes only. The information displayed in these columns can assist the user to make the right decision if they are unsure about the data they are working with. The data contained in these reporting only columns is never sent to Oracle. Simplified Loader Template supports both quantity and amount based purchase orders. In the case of quantity based purchase orders, received transaction quantity gets populated. Whereas for amount based purchase orders, received transaction amount gets populated. So far in this demo, we have covered getting data from Oracle based on the user that we have logged in with. The next step we will look at is the ability of receiving purchase orders. To carry out purchase order receiving, let's pick up two records that belong to different purchase order numbers. The first purchase order which we will receive is in row number 9. The total amount pending to receive on this purchase order is $2,500. For demo purposes, we will receive only $500. This is the only input that our user needs to provide, and we can see here that the record in row 9 is ready to be uploaded to Oracle. The other purchase order that we will receive is row number 10. We can see here that row 10 is a quantity-based purchase order. The total quantity remaining to be received here is 5 hours. Let's perform partial receiving on this record and receive only two of the five hours. All we have to do to perform this action is to update the value of five hours to two hours. Once the user is happy with the input in the template, they will highlight the transactions that are required to be pushed into Oracle as purchase order receipts. For this demo, we are going to act only on the two transactions. So let's highlight these two transactions that we wish to upload. After highlighting the transactions, click on the Create Receipt Transaction button and this will create the purchase order receipts in Oracle. Once clicked, the simplified loader template starts loading data for the first record and gets the response back from Oracle and then performs the same action for the second record. As you can see, in just a couple of seconds, the two receipts are created in Oracle and the load status column values have changed to success create receipts. OK, let's navigate to Oracle to view the receipts created by the simplified loader template. To do that, we can copy the purchase order number 162714 from Excel and go to see the amount due on this purchase order. We are already logged in to the Fusion application as Amy Marlin and we will navigate directly to the My Receipts section. Let's paste this PO number in the Purchase Order field and run a search. We can see in Oracle that the total amount ordered on this purchase order was $2,500. To view the unreceived amount, we should click on the Receive button. Here we see only $2,000 is pending to be received. This is because we've received $500 using Simplified Loader. Similarly, when we query the other purchase order number in Oracle, we can see 5 hours as the total quantity.
Let's click on the Receive button and then click on the Show Receipt Quantity button. Notice how we see only three hours pending to be received. That's because we've received two hours from Excel. We use the Fusion application for demo purposes. In a real-world scenario, the user does not need to do this. The user can view updated data directly within Simplified Loader by querying the purchase order. Let us now copy the two purchase order numbers to the purchase order number query only field. Highlight the rows and click on Get PO Details. This button, Get PO Details, will retrieve data from Oracle for the PO numbers that we have just specified. The user can now review these purchase orders directly within the spreadsheet. Ah, something is wrong however. It seems that we have pasted the wrong PO numbers. OK, let's get the right purchase order number and query the data from Oracle. That's better. As you can see, the spreadsheet reflects the revised values of unreceived amount and quantity. We can see here that the unreceived amount is only $2,000. And if we scroll to the right, we can review the amount ordered for this purchase order. We still see $2,500 as the amount ordered. Now let's review the functionality of returning goods to the supplier based on the purchase order number. We can paste the purchase order numbers into new lines and then click on the Get PO Details for Return. This action returns all the receipts that belong to this purchase order. In this example, we can see that we can return two hours. To return this quantity to the supplier, all we have to do is to select the receipt that we wish to return and enter a return quantity value. The second purchase order is an amount-based purchase order. If we review the details on an amount-based purchase order, we will see the message saying only quantity-based POs can be returned. To return a quantity-based purchase order, we need to highlight the record and click the Create Receipt Transaction button. Before we perform the action, let's quickly review the purchase order details in Oracle. So, in Oracle, we still see an unreceived quantity of 3 hours. Let's jump back into the Simplified Loader template and click the Create Receipt Transaction button. The vital point to note here is that the Create Receipt Transaction button creates a new receipt as well as creating a return transaction. When we clicked on the Create Receipt Transaction button, we saw a successful response within a second. To validate the return, let's go back to the Fusion application and search for the purchase order again. Then we can navigate back to the receiving page and click the Show Receipt Quantity button. We now get 5 hours as the unreceived quantity. This indicates that the return receipt transaction has been created successfully in Oracle. We hope you enjoyed this run through of the purchasing receipt template. Simplified Loader Template can be used for data migration projects or day-to-day -day business activities. If you have any questions, then please feel free to drop us an email using the address support at simplifiedloader.com or if you prefer, just leave your question in a comment. Thank you.